Right, this is Tram, right? Uh, the only thing you really need for this map is some sort of a plus use bind for your scroll wheel. Uh, I cover a few different ways to bind that in the introduction video. Okay, so this map starts with this logo fading in and out. Uh, you can make yourself a hard save here. Uh, just make sure it is before you gain control. And now, since we gain control during the fade in, and the screen is black for like two seconds, means we need to press the buttons that lets us out pretty much blind. So I'll first go over where the buttons are and then how to maneuver in the dark. So uh, the buttons are back here. The first one being this one and the second one being this door. And for the first one, uh, you want to be crouched. It is easier to press like that. And you want to aim at the bottom half of this panel. And you can spam plus use. And once you hear the portal one elevator sound, uh, you're gonna turn to the door and do the same. And this will let us out. Now, the way you can try and move during the fade in, uh, you can hold A and S, and after a second or so, you're gonna start crouching and you're gonna look to your right. Something like that. And the way I like to do this, I, I hold S and again after a second or so, I start crouching, I turn around and start holding W. Something like that. And then just open the door. Also, uh, the way you can tell if you're actually aiming at something, uh, if you listen, uh, pressing E makes a sound. And if you're aiming at the button and listen now, it doesn't make any sound. That's when you know uh, you're aiming at the button. And once you get out, you can either drop down and start from a circle jump, or the faster way, you're gonna continue your hop and you're gonna speed wall strafe the tram. Just make sure when you go past the door, you let go of D so that you don't accidentally go back inside. And then it's just a matter of uh, how good your strafes are. A few general tips. Try to keep a straight line and narrow the width of your strafes the faster you go. Also, try to avoid those planks. Uh, they can mess you up real bad. And when you get here, uh, ideally you want a hop to land somewhere here where everything starts to curve and you're gonna redirect diagonally through the turn. Uh, you can go through this wall, so don't worry. Uh, be careful not to go too far to the right. Uh, this wall has some weird collision. And since it's diagonal, uh, you cannot accelerate at all. So to keep the CTG going. And you should land somewhere here and you're gonna just redirect that way and up to the end. Uh, you can go through these doors and then just hit this trigger as soon as possible. Um, there is a small time save which involves this invisible core. Um, you're gonna do the start normally and you're gonna do the speed wall strafe but when you pass by the door you're gonna quickly peek inside and you can actually grab the core. And when you get to the turn, just before you land the last hop, uh, you're gonna look down and right in an angle, and you're gonna drop it right next to you. And this will send you flying through the turn, saving up to two hops. Now, obviously, these lines are for demonstration purpose only. Uh, you cannot use this in an actual run. And the only way to know if you're holding the core is when your crosshair disappears. 